The film's Ooh. crazy because it's it's based on different locations and it's this this random crew of dudes yeah, people throughout keep... all these different locations. Like it's not like a team. So it's not like all the same dudes you're used to seeing together. Are it's you like, qualified to give a little bio on the fucking film? Yeah, I saw it. I mean, it seems like you guys are pretty well researched. <laughs> Is he correct in yeah. what he's saying? Yeah, you that? guys probably yeah. know. He's killing it. These guys are about to be like famous. Why World that? famous skateboarder. Because <laughs> this film is coming out. Which film? Oh, uh, we Are Blood. The, dude, the Moot Mountain Dew one, yeah. That's pretty big. How much? What's the budget? Do you guys, you guys get a oh, taste Santa? of what the budget is on that? I heard it was three right. mil. So I have million. no idea, but it has yeah, to I haven't be heard a number ridiculous amount of money. They don't clear any of the budget with you guys before that? No. no. <laughs> we just get the tickets at the yeah. last minute. <laughs> Where's the wackiest <laughs> place you've gone for this, for this, for this one? This I'd project? say Dubai. Yeah. It's the most out there trip. Yeah. I don't think I'll ever have an experience like that in the yeah. Middle East, yeah. or maybe ever, but we did so many firsts, like skydiving, yeah. riding camels, and... I saw the, the photos, or I don't know if I saw a video yet, but where uh, Clint and those dudes were like riding a dune buggy on the side. Yeah, and then same Or maybe shit. Clint was standing on the top. Yeah, we were on the right way. Chilling yeah. at this dude's that mansion, and he, or like castle, the palace, whatever it is, and he's like, yeah, you guys wanna go over to the runway? We have like those little personal helicopters. Like the ones that, uh, like Bob Brinkwitz has, or sure. And uh, he had a bunch of them. And while we were waiting for them to feel them up and get them ready, he this dude came out with one of those dune buggies, and he's like, "Yeah, you guys want to go for a ride?" And he just starts driving around, and all of a sudden he like flips the car up on its side, and is just driving on two wheels, and it's like super sketchy feeling. Like what the hell? You, but you I always know strapped it was in all the time, right? No, like, barely. No. He told you us can... just to like buckle up. Yeah, but there then no, like, like once we're straps. driving sideways, like everyone's unbuckling, like standing up, like yeah. posing for photos. It was because he can hold it there or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. some okay. kind of like technology going on. That's pretty. No, sick. you can do it in regular cars. I've seen it online before, like dudes just in the hood just driving and then they're, like whipping. It goes up on two wheels, and I like think it's fake. I was like, that's not even possible. Yeah. Huh. And then we went there and I saw this shit going down. I was like, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's just how did you guys meet? We met at a skate contest in a town called Waterbury. Yeah, in Vermont. Yeah, how old were you guys? I think I was 13. Yeah, so I was probably like 12. So what's that, like 10 or 12 years I mean, ago? I guess I'm older than you. 14. I was, probably, I was probably 14. <laughs> yeah, it's past 10 years ago. Did you guys move out here together? No, he moved out a little over a year before me. Because I graduated before him. Oh, okay. So I was free and I was like, I need to get out of Vermont, get out of the winter. It was cool. Him and my buddy Witta moved out uh -huh. and they just kept calling me and like, eventually convinced me yeah. to move out. We had to use reverse psychology on him. Yeah. What? We kept hitting him up and I was like, dude, we got a room for you. Like, come out whenever you're ready. He had graduated. He's like, all right, I'm coming, I'm coming. Kept giving us dates. Yeah, I'm going to get my ticket after like Halloween, all right, after Christmas. Yeah, it started with and we're like, all right. And then I eventually was like, dude, Cookie's not coming. I was like, and we were seeing all this footage that he was putting out, like, from home. And we're like, this is ridiculous. Like, and I was calling him. I was like, dude, I know all the kids that are coming up. Like, you need to be out here. People need to see you skate. Yeah. And uh, he just wasn't coming. And I was like, dude, let's call him and just tell him we're gonna give his room up. So we called him and we were just like, yo, what's up, Cook? Hey, no pressure, like, we know you wanna do your thing out there, like, we're gonna stop bugging you, like, uh -huh. we're gonna give your room to Cody, like, he wants to move out right away. Uh -huh. Like, no worries, like, just hit us up, you always have a place to stay if you wanna come visit. And like, dude, like, two days later, he's like, yo, I got my ticket, I'm coming, I'm moving out. <laughs> I was like, yes, dude, we got him, he's coming. That's amazing. What That's was holding fun. you back? Why, why, why couldn't you I make the leap? I was trying to save up enough money to feel comfortable to move out. And I had like almost five G's saved. Jesus Christ! I was working, Christ. working no a bagel job. No Clyde Singleton you came a out bagel here with sixty dollars. Yeah. I worked at bagels. I just found the first other person in the skate industry to work a bagel job. Hell yeah, yeah. Cody Hill got me the job. <laughs> did you and steal from the tip jar like he did? No. Oh, the tip jar was mine. <laughs> Whatever. Did you make bagels? Yeah, I was making bagels Fuck from yeah. like four a.m. to seven a.m. That's what I did. I remember one time I went in, still drunk off four locos when they had the caffeine in them. Yeah. And just, it was a rough morning. Some waxy Say bagels come out of that. I used to do that. It was like after that day, I realized I got to get out of here. I think I have enough money. Yeah. And well, it was weird for me because like when we like came up skating together, like we would skate together every day. Yeah. And like this was dude I skate with anytime I skate street or anything is like we were skating together. So when I moved out, it was just like more or less like. Damn, like, I have no one to skate with. Like, where's my yeah. friend? I moved out with my photographer, and he kills it at skating. Yeah. But it was like, you know, like, this is my best friend. Like, where's the dude I skate with every single day? Yeah. So it sucked to, like, you know, not have someone to, like, 
push you and like be at spots and just be hyped on, you know? Yeah, it definitely got to me when you were like, yeah, me and John Moore are working on this video part, filming with Blake House Senga. Oh yeah, we were going like, out every day for like months. Yeah. It was so sick, just so, cause everything's I new and we wanted part of that. Yeah. I'd gone out on like week long trips. One time it rained for like six out of seven days and it just wasn't Ultra. enough. God. Yeah. yeah. Done. Hey, how do you get approached to be in this do tour movie, the do, do, what's it called? Do? We Are Blood. <laughs> we yeah, Are Blood movie. It was pretty random. How do you get approached to be in that? I <laughs> met Ty up in San Francisco at like some do tour art show. My friend Justice introduced me to him. Uh, so I don't know. It just naturally happened. We became friends and he asked me to go to China one day. Nice. And that developed into like four more trips nice. within that year. You get along with Ty, you work with him well? Yeah, he's yeah. like the hardest working dude I know. So who won that contest that you guys first met each other at? Who who plays tire? I think he won the advanced section, I won the intermediate. Oh, because <laughs> you were that much in the next age bracket? I don't know. It was just, I don't know, yeah, I don't it know just kind of happened. happened. Bullshit, somebody, one of you guys know. Like, I think well, it was just more product for the advanced division if you won, so I was just like. You don't talk shit late at night playing video games or something? Don't, don't, <laughs> no. don't, don't make me remind you of <laughs> no. 2002. <laughs> no, we were talking about actually on the way over here, we were talking about like just random, some random contest, and we were like, yeah, I know we got first and second, but we just can't remember who got first. Are you both the same stance? Yeah. Yep. So you go to spots, is it, do you ever compete against? What I mean, it's not well. competing. It's just like you know, just like any friends in skating or like anyone you skate with. It's just like you know, you push each other. You might be at a spot yeah. like, oh, I'm not really gonna skate or I'm not feeling it, and then he'll hop on and it's like, damn, I want some of that. <laughs> so you you want to skate too? Let's tell you, I think I've seen you jump on more rails backside, and I'm more comfortable frontside. So it kind of helps yeah. being around each other. That's true too. Motivating. Same thing in our interview thing. Rob loves jumping go. on I backside and I'm like more of a front side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The same yeah, just, exact yeah. I'm more into what? backside. He loves the backside. I'm like a front side guy. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard you drink like a gallon of milk a day. You drink milk while you're skating? Where do you guys get this dude, information? I'm, we're just dude, getting started. Uh, oh, yeah, I love milk, man. It looks I, good. I'm not mad at the milk, I just don't understand. No, I just, I like milk, man. Like, yeah. if I eat pizza or something, like, I like milk. I eat a lot of cereal every day, yeah. I like chocolate milk. Yeah. I don't know, it's good. Spaghetti and milk is odd. I don't do drink milk anymore. Any kind of pasta, I feel like. Yeah. Milk's good. It doesn't make you feel crazy when you're skating? Make you more thirsty? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I don't know. I, I only eat it if I'm skating, if I, like, get something that, I like, get a donut or something, like, oh, I gotta have milk with this. So there's like dang there waffles. He doesn't have waffles the Mountain Dew jug with the milk in inside of it at the spots, Robert. Okay. Yeah. He's got real Mountain Dew in that, don't you? <laughs> See, Spot, tell the sponsors that. Mountain oh, Dew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rad. We made a can. <laughs> yeah, that was Mountain Dew. I never would have thought that would happen. That's pretty crazy, yeah. huh? Did, did, did they did they make them? Did those to. cans make it back home yet? Yeah, my parents got some. Yeah, my mom sent me a photo like the whole family holding up cans. They were all hyped. Wait, what's the can you made? <laughs> it's like. Six of us standing like a silhouette. Oh, for the movie holding poster, our, holding our boards up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do they still do we that? We probably spent like 24 hours of just holding our boards up for that Three movie. Shots. <laughs> hey, you guys, were you guys were there when they uncovered that skate park that was buried for like 30 years? Well, yeah. How did you just say that? Buried. Buried. Is buried. How do you say it? Buried. It's not B E R I I E D. Buried. Robert. Buried. buried. <laughs> I like, I prefer, I, I would prefer buried Robert. just because everyone says buried, so it's like, Robert. Yeah. back it, back saying It's buried, buried Robert. But yeah, we were there, that shit was crazy. Like, the first day we went, yeah. there was like, just a big pool mm -hmm. that I guess the dude who owned it kept so he could fill with water to, like, uh, so his, all his animals could drink out of it. Because yeah. when the dude bought the property, he's like, I'm going to cover up this whole skate park. So he filled it with dirt, hired this dude to fill it with dirt, and then left that bowl open for horses to drink out of. How long had it been covered for? <laughs> like 30 years. Shut this is like right outside of Barcelona. Yeah. Sorry, the background is that they went to Barcelona mm -hmm. and they went to this spot where this skate park had been yeah. buried in the like late early 80s. Buried in the <laughs> early 80s. Yeah, there's footage of this woman <laughs> skating it back yeah. when it was a fresh skate park. Nice. And then she's there 30 years later. Oh, the same energy. woman? Yeah. yeah. And the guy who buried it. Yeah, the guy who buried it, he came through. He unburied and, it. Yeah, he dug it out with his backup, like same exact dude, which was really trippy. 
Uh, didn't you guys have some, you had total VIP Dubai access the whole time, right? Yeah, it was pretty rad. We were like on the skate stopping spots just so we could skate them. Sick. The first spot we showed up to in Dubai, we were all like antsy, we all in the vans. And we pulled up and it was this long like hubba, like down, like stretch stairs and then like an extended kink. And there was a bunch of dudes in robes, lacquering, rubbering and lacquering the, the ledge. And we really got there and we're like, this is insane. They were setting up this giant crane to film an angle and it was just these dudes in robes just destroying the ledge. Like, or not destroying it, making it perfect for us, but, but you know. Skate, yeah. Right? Yeah, so you and it was just like, it, yeah. a lot of places we went, we'd go back a couple days later, try to skate it again. And they would have already sandblasted the ledges Shut and, de- and knobbed them again. Just to make the city beautiful or yeah. whatever again. Yeah. Or like not even knobbed, shit's not even like knobbed there. Yeah. Cause they, they don't let people skate. What's it like filming those? segments where you have to go up onto like a helicopter pad hundreds of stories up above the ocean and then ties around i mean that's crazy right like that has to be all planned out and then it's like we're gonna put a bench and you're gonna skate it yeah that was insane i mean that was definitely once in a lifetime they were planning that for like years really yeah yeah i guess for like two or three years they had been like working with the people in dubai to get on the helicopter pad because people pay money tourists if you go to dubai you can pay money just to get on the island where that hotel is it's the only seven star hotel in the world what's it called like uh the burj al arab Arab, how long are you skating that helicopter pad we were there from we were up there for like four hours wow just kind of like rotating taking it was like over 100 degrees the ground was like rougher than a tennis court yeah. But it was really fun and motivating. I don't That's think I'll insane. ever get that chance again. Is there gusts of wind and shit up there? It was kind of windy, but yeah. not You guys so had bad. to like block just in case someone shot a board The thing out. was like shaking yeah. itself. Yeah. That was the Yeah, because when it's that high, like it moves because it's built to move, you know, to take. Right. And like, some of the guests whatever. were complaining who were staying in the hotel. Because I guess it was echoing. Can hear you? Really? Yeah. Are, those, oh, are the security guards standing around it for real security guards? Or yeah. are they like, uh, yeah, they, they were. just like for like Yeah, those visual? are the real security oh. guards up there. And yeah. They gave us a whole like debriefing. They like they told us the only people who have been up here are, like Tiger Woods to shoot golf balls off it and like some dude to do donuts on it. So it was like super wow. exclusive mm-hmm. for like us to be able to even get on there. Like I said, people pay to go to the island just to go in the lobby and like take pictures. And then for us to get on like the highest floor, they took us through the basement because like some of us were in shorts and shit. They didn't want to take us through the hotel. Oh, because they, they took us through the basement, yeah, yeah, and took us up to the top. And we were like on this top, the top floor that you can get, you know, in the helicopter pad. It was insane. That's so cool. What oh, do you guys yeah. do? Do you guys shoot a selfie when you're at the top and show all your buddies? <laughs> yeah, we, we all we shot trying trying to, like, what get it. Get it at the end of the day, but they wouldn't let us skate. Like, it. what buddies from Vermont would believe you're doing some horse shit like that? <laughs> like, that's still to me. I've done a lot of shit, and that's unbelievable. Dude, you're so lucky. That's the coolest part for me. It's like I'm hyped. It's my dream to always like skate and travel and like make this actually happen. But like to do it with like you know your best friend is the coolest thing. It's like you get to travel and like we experience our both of our first times out of the country together, you know, and trying to, like, stuff like that is just super cool.